Good morning, guys. Good morning, good morning. Another beautiful day. I wanted to take a moment and talk to the people um, out there who believe as I believe. And um, I'm not ashamed of my beliefs. You know, I believe that, uh, that Jesus Christ came to die for our sins and, and we serve a risen Savior. Um, and if you believe how I believe, I want to talk to you for a second. I um, I realize sometimes I don't always make enough time for God as I should, right? The um, the being that's responsible for me even being able to exist, and I think a lot of times we get. We get so busy in the uh, in the hustle and bustle of our of our work life, family life. If you're trying to run a business, your business. If you're a content creator, you know. It's like we we will make time for what we feel like is important. I'm a firm believer in that. Like if something is important to you, you will make time for it, no matter what it is. You know, if you think about it, when you know when you're dating somebody that you're interested in, it doesn't matter how busy you are. You make time for that person. You make the necessary provisions and adjustments that you need to make on your end to still spend time with that person, right? So, I think there are times where we get so we get so busy with creating content, we get so busy with scrolling on our phones, we get so busy with taking care of our kids we get so busy with making sure our spouses are together we we get we get busy with so many things and then it's almost like there's no time for God in there and it don't work like that y'all um, now if I if I could say that it's important we, we make time for the things that are important. What's what's more important than God? There's there's nothing more important than your relationship with your heavenly father. So we have to make a conscious effort to give God our best on a on a daily basis. To spend time with him, to make sure that you're reading your word, to make sure that you're praying, to make sure that you're professing the good news out here because there are the sad reality there are people that are dying every day that don't know Christ you know or at least they don't know him the way that we know him right and when I tell y'all when y'all got that relationship with Christ man life is just so 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 much better that doesn't mean you don't still have hardships but um, a life with, with, with Christ a life with Christ is freedom is is joyful it is it's complete man you know so i'm just being transparent y'all there are times where i will allow myself to get busy with stuff that don't even matter sometimes you know youtube youtube is cool me creating content on these different platforms like it's cool right but it ain't more important than god and there are too many times where we talking to me too where we allow certain things to distract us and we try to we try to squeeze God in you know like um, you know if you're about to go to bed and you're laying in bed and you realize you haven't prayed so you give God a quick little thank you Lord for this day amen and it's like is that all God is worth worth to us it's like a five minute prayer I mean a five second prayer Right, we have to be intentional about how we're spending our time and we have to be intentional about about God. All right? So in Matthew chapter 7, Jesus lets us know that the road to destruction is broad. Right? And if you think about broadness, that means a lot of people are going in that direction. So he says the road to destruction is broad. And he said that we should go to narrow gate, but few find the narrow gate. And I preached a sermon to my church one week and I said, man, how are you a part of the few? 
are you are are we a part of the few and then i got the question and like how many is a few because if he said the road to destruction is broad and a few find a narrow gate how many is a few is it a few out of 10 is it a few out of 100 what if it's a few out of a thousand and that message when he's speaking about few find a narrow gate other believers are tied into that he's not just talk he's not talking about um people that don't believe in Christ right that message is talking about how they're going to be people when that day comes they're going to speak about all the things that they did for Christ right and how they how they drove out demons in his name and he's still he's going to say like I never knew you so these are believers that are still going the broad way are you a part of the few And if we can't even make time for God on a daily basis, man, we're not being part of the few. And this ain't to scare nobody. This is the, the reality that we have to be intentional about our time with Christ. We have to be. We have to be. We can't squeeze God into our day. And then we expect all of these magnificent and wonderful things uh, from him. But we don't. But we give him the bare minimum, you know. So that's my spiel for today. Make sure y'all give God, God his time, you know. I'll see y'all in the next video. God bless you.